Hello everyone, this is Chris Hansen with E1 Solutions. I'm one of our senior consultants here at the company and today we're going to be looking at using Smart Connect to import data into Salesforce using the external ID field within Salesforce to make that process easier. To start with, I've got our accounts open on the Salesforce organization page. The two accounts we're updating are the Chris Hansen and Chris Do accounts. We're going to be providing account site and phone number to each of those so you guys can easily see the data we've brought in. What I've added to those accounts, if I flip over to the customization view, is an external ID on each of them. So I've added a field called GP customer number, and in the setup for that, I've checked the box that says use as an external identifier for outside systems. What that includes are any calls that go through the API, like Smart Connect does when importing to Salesforce. So what that means, if we have an external ID set up, is when we're doing our mapping, all we need to do is map to that external ID. And if we have a value that matches an existing one in Salesforce, it's going to update that record. That makes it a lot easier to do inserts and updates to the system rather than using the default fields that are provided. If we don't have an external ID, what we need to do is either find the actual GUID or ID of that record using an entity lookup, or we need to provide values to every required field on that record in order to get it to update. So this external ID takes the place of that and allows us to map just one field to tell whether or not we need to do an update or an insert. In Smart Connect, I can show you guys what my data looks like quickly. I've got a few basic records on here, the account number, name, site, and phone. This account number field, those values should match the external ID values for my two accounts in Salesforce, so it's going to be updating those. On the mapping itself, there isn't anything that differentiates that external ID from the other fields currently, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to have the value already defined and you need to know what field it is based on your Salesforce setup. So I know my GP customer number was my external ID field, so I've mapped my account number to that. Now when I go ahead and run the map, we'll see those two records updated within the Salesforce system. So once they both run through successfully, we'll go back to our account list, and when I refresh it, we've got the cities and the phone numbers of the two accounts I updated on there. So using external ID fields within Salesforce provides you an easier way to do updates to your Salesforce system. They can be added to any entities that you have within the system. The only requirement is that the external ID fields have to be a custom field. You can't go ahead and flag a standard field as an external ID. Besides that requirement, they're fairly easy to set up, and once you do, you can go ahead and take advantage of them using Smart Connect. Thank you guys for listening to this Tech Tuesday article, and I hope this improves your Salesforce integrations.